Hi, boys and girls. It's been a long time since we've been together in Sunday school. But I'm going to help you work on one of our Google Classroom lessons today. Lesson number 11, about a golden calf. Have you ever heard of a golden calf before? A calf is a baby cow, you know. Now, I've heard of lots of animals, and I've seen many different kinds, especially at the zoo. But I've never seen a golden cow. You know why? Because there is no such thing as a golden cow. Hmm. Let me read a quick story to you. When Moses was gone for so long on the mountain with God, the Israelites stopped trusting God. They said to Aaron, we need a God who can lead us. So Aaron told them to take off their gold jewelry. He melted the gold and molded it into the shape of a calf. The people bowed to the golden calf and brought it gifts. They danced around and worshiped it. God was really mad when he saw his people worshiping a statue. He sent Moses back down the mountain. What have you done, cried Moses to Aaron. Trust only God. Moses asked God to forgive the people. Though God punished them, he never stopped loving them. He told them to keep walking toward his promised land. So you see, a golden calf is not really real. It sounds kind of crazy that they would do such a thing, right? But maybe not. After all, remember when we talked about the Tower of Babel? God had to confuse his people by making it so they couldn't even understand what each other was saying in order to stop the Israelites from trying to build a tall tower in order to act like they were God. Let's look at Deuteronomy 9, verses 13 to 18. The Lord said to Moses, I have watched these people. They are very stubborn. Get away. I will destroy them. I will make the whole world forget who they are. Then I will make another nation for you. It will be bigger and stronger than they are. So Moses turned and came down the mountain. The mountain was burning with fire. And the two stone tablets with the agreement on it were in his hands. When he looked, he saw the people had sinned against the Lord their God. They had made an idol in the shape of a calf. They had quickly turned away from what the, God, what the Lord had told them to do. So Moses took the two stone tablets and he threw them down. He broke them into pieces right in front of the people. Then Moses again bowed down, face down on the ground before the Lord. He did this for 40 days and 40 nights. He did not eat bread or drink water. Israel had sinned by doing what the Lord said was evil. They made him angry. Did you notice what Moses told the people? You did what God said was evil. Do you remember what we call that? When we do the things that God doesn't want us to do? Of course you remember. It's called sin. Sin affects each and every one of us every day of our lives. If you sat down at your dinner table tonight and asked, Hey, who didn't sin today? There should be no one who is able to answer that question, because we all sin. In fact, God's word tells us that every single human person has sinned and has fallen short of the glory of God. This means that we all sin, and because of that sin, we can never truly live up to what God wants us to be. Israel made a cow out of gold and called it God. 
They expected it to do all the things God does. But they expected this God to do even more. They expected this God to do the things they wanted it to do. But the truth was this, that golden cow wasn't God. Only God is God. And he is in heaven with his son, Jesus Christ. And he is in our hearts and he is in our lives. But he sure isn't in that cow. Many people believe many different things about God, but we know this one thing is true. God is spirit, and when we worship him with a true heart, he comes and makes his home in our hearts. Not an actual house, of course, but by his spirit, which flows through us. He lives in us. And you can also remember when you do something wrong, remember God still loves you. He just wants you to come to him and tell him that you're sorry because you are his precious child and nothing can stop him from loving you. He will not forget the wrong things you have done, but he'll always help you do the right things. I hope you have a great week and you go on and do another lesson, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.